Good morning. Y'all couldn't hear my music playing, could you? <laughs> my office is still in the process of becoming a, a, a workable office space. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome. It's day three. <laughs> it's day three and I'm excited. And I hope you're excited. How many of you are enjoying our, our, uh, our kingdom work? Any of you uh, enjoying our kingdom work? I, have, I am enjoying our kingdom work. Uh, I believe every time I get in the word and I, um, I bear down and I, I just get a little bit closer to God, I feel like he gets a little bit closer to me. I love sharing about it with y'all. I hope that I don't run anybody off talking about Jesus. I've done it before. Some of you know there, there's been a few that have been run off with my Jesus talk, but I, I just I just have to 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 pray and, and hope that God deals with whoever that is that gets run off just how he's meaning to do it. You know, I I don't I don't I don't mean to run anybody off except for except for Butkus, and, and she can't be run off. She's too good at this. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I'm excited about it being uh, day three. I want to, today is our, our, if you're new to my challenges, today is our day to go over results. I always stop at the uh, Wednesday roundup. And we just go over every, I, t I try to touch everybody up, make sure everyone is um, in line. I see, uh, I see that, uh, Jen, uh, Jenna, it's okay. If, as a matter of fact, I know part of, part of you guys, I know what's going on with you because you're sending me your worksheets. And, uh, or I feel like I know some of what's going on with you. Let me rephrase that. How many of you have found it difficult to write down or maybe to convince yourself to write down what it is that's really going on in your mind when you get the worksheet out? Uh, how many of you have started to fill out the worksheet and thought, I'm just going to do the, the, the weight loss portion of this. There's something in that worksheet that is a little bit scary to me or that, um, that I feel like if I go there, it's going to be a deterrent to me. Listen, sometimes getting past um, what we think things are going to be, what we think things are going to do and produce, and getting into uh, what God's got in store for us, uh, we'll find that our, our, our misconception, our, our, our inaccurate perception of what could be, what might be, is actually um, completely not even the same thing. I want to tell you, if you put very little into the worksheet, and I don't mean on paper, I mean in here, I mean in, uh, in your heart, okay, in your heart. Some of y'all know me well enough to know what I'm talking about when I say in your heart. That you'll know what the next level is. You'll know what next level honesty is. You'll know what next level assessment is. You'll, you'll grow into this ability to not self-diagnose. It's not what I mean. What I mean is to really get honest about the exact nature of what's going on inside of us, of you, and knock that rubbish out. <laughs> we'll, not, we'll not be perfect until we've been literally translated into our uh, celestial bodies. However, and I do mean this, however, whatever we can bind on the earth, Jesus said, I've given you power over all things. 
You can bind things and you can loose things. Well, he's given us that power. Did you know that, Alicia? Did you know that you have the power to bind things on this earth and to loose things on this earth? Think about that, Cindy. Next time something is eating your lunch, call on Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus, Carol, and say, I, and, and, and bind it. Bind whatever it is, okay? And if there's something inside of you that needs to come out, you can loose it as well, okay? And I don't mean, hey, look, I'm not, we're not talking about turning loose with bad things. We're, uh, in other words, to, to cause harm to others or, or things of that nature. No, there's things inside of us that need to be loose. They need to be out of there, turned loose, and gone. But there's also things out there that come in here that get in between us and what we want. God said he's given us power to bind things in heaven and in earth and to loose things in heaven and earth. So if you need to loose some angels from heaven, then let's do that as well. I'm a little excited this morning. I don't know if you can tell. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Christy. Hey, Cindy. Good morning to you. Good morning, Buckus. Yo, Buckus. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Christy. Hey, Deb. Good morning. Good morning, Donna. Janine, I'm glad you're here. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Jody. Hey, Casey. Hey, Kendra. Good morning to you. Proud of you. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Kristen. My, my fellow uh, fighter in the force, Kristen Papa George. Me and Kristen both already had lightsabers before there was ever a self-mastery challenge. We were both strong one in the force here. And good morning, Millie. Hope your birthday was great. <laughs> good morning, Nellie. Good morning, Nina. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Susie. And everybody that's not here or couldn't be here, good morning to you if you're, or good day if you're watching later. I'm so glad you're uh, doing the challenge with us. This is a, like I said, this is a great group, not just a great group, because you guys are great, but look, hey, it's November. It's November. Count yourself to be, it's the right word for this. Count yourself to be part of the elect. I was going to say elite, but I'm going to say elect. Chosen. You, you are right where you are because you made a commitment somewhere along the line to, to be different. Okay. Good morning, Joey. If you're here when you but when you watch this good morning to you danny as well we got several guys doing the the challenge this week what i mean is is being being in the middle of a five-day weight loss uh, uh challenge being in the middle of a self-reflecting time of your life in november when you live in the united states of turkey uh thanksgiving uh <laughs> i don't mean turkey the country i mean gobble gobble it, it tis the season to gobble, gobble, right? So I'm proud of everybody for being part of that elect group. Of, you know, you're just outstanding uh, Shibboleth members uh, at this time. Uh, and then when I say just, I don't mean uh, in a small way. I mean in a large way. Let me go and share my screen and see if we can look at these. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's, that's the thing, Jenna. You know, just... Figuring out how to work into that process is important. Okay, so I'm moving the chat out of the way. So if y'all are chatting with me, um, I'll, I may look up there and or over there. I got a, a, another monitor up. Like I said, I'm still getting my office set up. Can y'all see the lights reflecting in the back? I got me some lights. I can, this is, watch, watch this. This is pretty neat. You see my light dimming? Is it getting dimmer on you? <laughs> I know. Anyway, Joni is two perfect days in. Joni hasn't logged any weight loss, so I'm assuming Joni is probably having a wow challenge today, uh, but assuming is is not uh, really a great thing. I'm just glad Joni's here and doing this with us. Amanda. Amanda's two perfect days in. I don't see any weight loss here as well. Amanda, I got to get you to weigh in for me uh, and, and log it. Um, it's very possible 
that some of you guys are logging your weight loss on your worksheet and you just haven't logged it in the website yet, that's okay. If you don't, if you're not putting it in the website, that's okay. You don't have to go and log it, Joni uh, and Amanda, but I would, would hope that as you go along, you uh, are at least writing it down so you'll remember day by day what, what you're choosing, how you're choosing to eat, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, here is uh, Misty. Misty's 1.9 pounds down. Great job, Misty. Two perfect days in. Uh, sticking it out, and we're going to get it done. Great job to you. Uh, Nathan, here's another one of my guys. Nathan's three perfect days in. Two pounds down. Great job, Nathan. Keep up the good work. Diana. Diana has one perfect day. Uh, journal, Dan, I got to get you to catch your journal up for me. Yep, Janine, I got to get you to catch your journal up or it's going to tap you out. I see you just popped up there on my chat over there. See, look. <laughs> uh, Diana, please catch your journal up for me so we, we're not in tapping. Look at, look at show off over here. Show off is uh, 8.2. I'm messing. Y'all let, y'all got to understand me and, me and Cindy, uh, 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 if I call her names, it's because she calls me worse names. <laughs> 8.2 pounds down, three perfect days in, 6.9 miles walled. Woo, somebody's been stepping. Great job. Great job to you. <clears throat> now, Robin is three perfect days in. I see Robin's got a lady of discipline badge, so I'm going to make the comment that I'm hoping Robin is writing her or journaling her weight as we go. Connie tapped out and it just is yet to show up. One holiday, one perfect day. Connie, we love you. And um, we realize that sometimes Kids come over and we pick, fix tater soup, stuff like that, right? So look, it's all right. Um, let's learn how to make potato soup the right way. Okay, you did use some fat-free cream cheese in there. I saw your little recipe, it wasn't so bad, it wasn't so bad. Um, we're just talking about broth, basically. You know, there's starch, starchy taters Carby, starchy, whatever you want to say, taters in tater soup. But a lot of us have been sick during our weight loss journey and had to survive with some tater soup. And it is possible to have tater soup and have a perfect day. So everybody knows. Remember, we don't always have to throw the baby out with the bath water. But I'm glad you're, you're here and you're going to continue to challenge along with us. I believe it was your commitment. We definitely, I definitely want you to stick with us, okay? If you don't want, if you don't want to, that's fine. You're, you're always welcome at Roundups. As long as you get that invite, you just come on in. Susie, Susie's two perfect days in, 2.4 pounds down. Proud of you, Susie. Keep it up. Keep winning. Here's Kim Porter, almost, uh, almost two pounds down. Great job, Kim. Great job, Kim. I'm glad you're challenging with us. Actually, it looks like you um, have not challenged with me, maybe maybe ever, but look here. You've got, uh, she was on Team Travis back in Summer, uh, summer Slim Down way back when we did that. I'm glad you're here, Kim, and I'm super proud of you with 1.8 pounds down so far. Keep it up. Keep it up. Journal is updated. Thank you, D. All right. Patricia, on the way to Bible study, hurt is three perfect days in and um, slightly down. We have been communicating through email. Patricia had a um, misunderstanding with the WOW Challenge, has adjusted. I don't, I, I don't know if there's a way for, I don't think there is. Patricia has done more wow challenges than anybody I know. So a lot of the wow challenges Patricia does by memory. So hey to baby JL y'all. And she 
remembered incorrectly the third eating episode yesterday. It wasn't a holiday. It was just a little different than the writing was on the WOW Challenge. She is uh, an amazing person and totally, totally uh, uh, gonna, gonna kill it on the challenge. Great job, Patricia. All right, Cindy Ladzinski. Three perfect days in. I think I got it right again. Uh, Two point eight pounds down, Cindy. That's great. You are you're actually uh, you're doing great here. This is great, great stuff. Uh, Cindy Lewis is uh, uh, is is one point nine, almost two pounds down. Great job to you, Cindy. I'm uh, I'm proud of you. Two perfect days in. Six point three miles already. Great job. Casey King is, uh oh, we got to get your journal caught up, Casey. I, you're journaling, but somewhere in there is a mistake. She's 3.4 pounds down. Are you with us this morning, Casey? It, oh, you just caught it up. Perfect. Okay, if you, I, I would have to re refresh my screen and then it, it would be hard to get back. No, you're fine. That's why we do this. That's why we do this. There's already two people that have got their journal caught up since we, since we started. That means that this is uh, uh, this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing this morning. Um, so when I refresh my screen, you're going to have perfect days, and that's what we want to to happen anyway. So Anina, three perfect days in, ten point two miles, two point five pounds down. Nina, I can't wait for your Lady of Discipline badge to pop up. I see it in your near future. Look right here; she's got a Shibola hot badge. Woo wee! All right, here is Deb. Deb, my kindred spirit, Hughes. <laughs> Deb's 5.4 pounds down, 2.6 miles in, and three perfect days. Come on, Deb, I, I got to see that Lady of Discipline badge on your uh, profile as well. I know you can get that one too. Okay, Jen is a touch behind on her journal, but I don't think it's intentional. Jen is uh, very much on top of what's going on. Jen, are you here this morning? If you are, good morning to you and Andon. I don't re recall if I saw you in the lineup, but that's okay. Be sure to get your journal called up for me if you are watching this on replay. Christy is uh, almost always on top of this. I, I say almost always because sometimes she's not, but... Um, uh, I usually know when she's not, and I do know. Okay, you got it. There's another one I got caught up this morning. Great, but Christy, 3.8 pounds down, 3.5 miles. Uh, Christy's busy mom, busy, um, uh, and um, we appreciate you. Great job, uh, Christy. I know you're you're uh, doing what you're supposed to be doing. Angela, 2.9 pounds down. Three perfect days. I believe Angela's going to disappear. She keeps losing weight as uh, like this. Uh, great job, Angela. 6.1 miles in so far. Keep up the good work. Jody Cox. Jody Cox is almost a pound. Wow. 10.2 pounds down. And three perfect days. Outstanding. Outstanding. Keep it up. Keep it up. Nelly is two perfect days in. Nelly, are, are you journaling your weight, dear? If you are, let's get that in for me. Um, proud of you. 15 miles. Y'all see this? Nelly, if, if Nelly and I were standing next to each other, I would cut a joke right here. This is a lot of, lot of little steps on Nelly's little, little cell. <laughs> Good job, Nellie. Get those steps in. Patricia Holbrook. <laughs> Patricia Holbrook, two perfect days in. 1.2 pounds. Am I saying that right? Is, is it Holbrook? It's probably Holbrook. 1.2 pounds down. 3.8 miles. Two perfect days. Great job. Kelly Elmore. I'm going to get on to you if you don't get this journal caught up. Well, I'm going to have to send Kelly a message. I can tell already. All right. Kelly's a, a, a winner anyway. Kelly, get 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 with it. I want you to get this badge. All right, Mama T. 
Mama T is uh, 0.7 pounds down, three perfect days and 4.8 miles. Daughter J is 3.2, 3.2 pounds down, 9.3 miles. I believe, I believe Sarah J is going to beat Sarah T this week. <laughs> Great job, ladies. Love you guys. I'm proud of y'all. Okay, Angela. Angela. Y'all got to watch out for Angela. Angela's tough. She's tough. Uh, I know you may be struggling a little bit this week, Angela, but we're praying. Everybody's going to pray for you uh, to, uh, for your motivation. Uh, you, you Listen, sometimes when, when you set the bar up here and you're doing your best, and you don't always reach that bar you've set for yourself and everybody else. It feels like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. But Angel, I believe you're doing just fine. Don't let's give ourselves a break. Keep doing what you're doing. You're 10 miles in so far. That's excellent by any st uh, standard at all. So keep push, keep pushing, keep doing what you're doing, and uh, great job on your on your weight loss. 2.9 pounds so far this week. Here's my brother, Joey. Uh, Tech Savvy Joey is 4.5 pounds in and two perfect days. Great job, Joe. I'm sure he's got some steps in there. He's become uh, 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 his, we're going to call him Wally the Walker, and we're going to call Alicia uh, uh, Wilma the Walker. They, Wilma and Wally, they always out walking. I'm sure there's plenty of steps. <laughs> in between them two. I'm messing with y'all. Good job. Good job. Janine, 3.2 pounds down, logged a few minutes ago. Wow. <laughs> that a girl? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Three perfect days. Great job, Janine. Fantastic. 12.4 miles. That's getting on up there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Melissa, Carol, is 2.4 pounds down and two perfect days in. You know, Melissa, I'm glad you're here. I, I can't wait for you to get this badge and 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 continue to to to, to uh, be successful in the program. Proud of you. Here's Anita. Anita is up slightly. You know what? This happens too. And uh, it's no hill for a climber. Notice she's two perfect days in. No tap out here. She's going to continue on. Right, Anita? And if if uh, if you don't say right, then you just write it on your worksheet. Talk to me. Let me know why you're wanting to to to, uh, to give up. I don't believe you're a quitter. I don't believe it for a minute. Uh, and I don't mean on the challenge. Everybody's perfectly willing to uh, are able to quit on the challenge and not be a quitter. I don't want you to quit on yourself. Okay, don't quit on yourself. Um, Amy Shepard. 6.6 .6 pounds down, three perfect days. 2,300 steps, outstanding. Here's Julie, 2.4 pounds already. Bless her heart. She's going to weather, she's going to blow away in the wind too. 2.4 pounds down, three perfect days. Great job, Julie. Paula, Paula's almost two pounds down, two perfect days. Good job, Paula. I'm pulling for you, buddy. Here's Zan. Zan's two perfect days in with a mile walk. And um, don't have any weight loss here. We'll get that fixed. We'll get that fixed. Susan? Susan's uh, a little over a pound down. 9.4 miles walk. Great job there. Great job on all of this. Two perfect days. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Troublemaker, look at her little thin self over here in this picture. Alicia, almost four pounds, 3.6 pounds down, two miles walking. We got to get your miles logged. I know you're going to get more miles than that as you go. Struggling with, with children, cooking for children, all of that stuff is natural for a mother. Let's stop beating herself up over that. Ladies, if you got kids that are coming in and you're cooking and you're struggling, wanting to put your finger in the food and taste it, don't do it. <laughs> Just keep on struggling. I got a, something I'll say on that, but I'll I'll save that. Good job, Alicia. Keep it up. Kay Highfield, 
outstanding. Three pounds down so far. Wonderful. And look here. Y'all give it up for Kay's 6,040 steps in just two days. That's great. That's fantastic, Kay. Thank you for, for, uh, for uh, being you. You're amazing. We love you. Danny. Danny's three perfect days in, already 7.5. Wow, great job. And 17.1 miles. I believe that's the most I've read so far. Danny is, is y'all want to catch somebody, y'all better go get Danny. Three perfect days. Great job, Danny. Kendra. Do I have two Kendras? Kendra's 10.3 miles in, 1.2 pounds down, three perfect days and doing a great job. Fantastic, Kendra. Becky, three perfect days in. Up slightly, four miles in, Becky. Hope your wild challenge goes well. Looking forward to uh, that number changing, but otherwise I know you're getting a lot out of this, so great, great job. Christy, two perfect days, 8.7 miles, almost three pounds, 2.6 pounds down. Great job, Christy. Is it Andrea? Andrea, three perfect days in, 12.3 miles and 3.2, 3.2 uh, pounds down. Great job. Proud of you. Look here, somebody was on Team Jason in the Slam Down Challenge. <laughs> Glad to have you back, partner. All right, here's Carol West. Carol West, two perfect days in, 3.7 miles down, uh, 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 walked. She both hot badge here, looking good up here. You know what, Carol? I am missing a fast track badge. If you feel like it, go earn that fast track badge for me uh, in the fast track. Uh, it's on. It's in your dashboard. When you go to your da dashboard right here on, on the website, go to your dashboard, find Fast Track Laps, look through that thing, and, and you'll, you'll find it. You'll find it. Uh, let's get your weight journaled as well, Carol. Great job, I'm sure. Angie Wilson is a little behind on her journal. Angie, please get your journal called up for me. Kristen is three perfect days in, four miles in, and one pound down, which is a lot for Kristen. Great job, Kristen. April, April, April is one has had a holiday. April, I hope you stay with us. Don't give up. Don't quit. Stay with us. It happens to the best of us. Put your weight in there and stay with us. Christy Rich, 1.5 pounds down, 8.8 .8 miles. Three perfect days, great job. All right, Christy. Woo, 199.5 under 200, yes. Great job, great job. Proud of that. All right, Deb is up slightly. Enjoy your wild challenge, two perfect days in. Marilyn is 4.5 pounds down. Wow, Marilyn, great job. Three perfect days working on it. Keep it up. Jessica Thomas, three perfect days in. 8.2 pounds down, 4.4 miles walk. Great job, Jessica. Great job. Outstanding. Let's see here. Tanya Carroll is behind Tanya, does anybody know Tanya? We got to get with Tanya. Tanya White, Tanya Carroll. Calling Tanya, if you watch this video, get your journal called up. Sister, we don't want you to be tapped out. Here's Jenna. Jenna's four, uh, four tenths of a pound down. Three perfect days, 3.1 miles walk. Jenna, get with it. Get with it. Not that you're not, I'm just going, I'm, I'm going to give you a little push. Get with it. <laughs> All right. Anna Grant. Anna Grant as well. Got to get Anna caught up. Anna, your journal is behind. So look, Tanya and Anna could very well be killing it. 
but since I know, I know, let's let's find some. I, you you be good to yourself. I'm I'm just messing with you anyway. Uh, Tanya, Anna, please make sure if you are participating in the challenge that you catch a journal up for me. Tracy Mackey is two perfect days in, five pounds down. Great job, Tracy. Proud of you. Tiani. Tiani is 4.2 pounds down. What in the world? This is another child that's going to uh, disappear if we ain't careful. Y'all, when y'all see Tiani, y'all be sure to tie a rope around one of her feet. Just, just tie a rope. That way, when she starts to, to, to drift off in the wind, y'all can catch the rope and, and hold on to her until the wind dies down. Six miles, three perfect days. Great job, Tiani. Proud of you. Alicia. Alicia McInnes is two perfect days in and slightly up, okay? Alicia, we shall, we need to figure this out, okay? If you already know and have figured it out, that's good, but we're not, we've only got one tap out up here on your, uh, in your, in your uh, challenge history. Let's uh, be sure that we don't have a tap out because this weight, we're going to fix this. Let's get it done. Okay. All right. Woo, that's a big group. It's a big group. Let me, I tell you what, I tell you what, let me go back and uh, let me go back right quick and I'll refresh the screen and see what happens. Yep, y'all bumped me right off the list. See what happens when y'all go and journal your weight loss? Y'all was right, Dan, 17.1. Nelly, look at Nelly. Woohoo! <laughs> Great job. I'm proud of y'all. Okay, all right. All right, y'all are probably like, okay, I've looked at that enough, and then your face is way too close to the screen, so you make, you, you're, you're uh, weirding me out a little bit there, Jason. Um, so, Get my little, my little uh, Bible pulled up here, so I can give you a couple of verses for today. We good with that? Get my chat back up here. All right, couple of verses for today. Y'all ready? This is gonna be. This is. Uh, I think this is gonna be good. Y'all ever? Y'all ever? Uh, look at me. Get excited about this and roll your eyes and go, "Oh God, here we go." This would be the appropriate time to do that if that is your uh, your um, if that is your purpose in in, uh, in this endeavor. Listen, we're talking about kingdom work this week. We're talking about the kingdom of God. Talking about being a part of it. If I were to review everything, we'd be here for a long time. So instead, we'll jump right into this lesson. S struggles, struggles. I hope that that y'all knew. When y'all saw Darth Vader and Anakin and back to back and the sword and, and, and the, the, the lightsabers or the swords, whatever, you know, they're opposing. This is the same person. We all are going to struggle with weight loss. We're going to struggle with the internal things, external things. All of that is part of life, as is, listen, being part of the kingdom of God. Being part of the kingdom of God is supposed to, supposed to be a struggle okay but it's not a bad thing i think if you'll uh, if you'll just recall righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost is what those are the things of the kingdom of god now jesus said keep my commandments y'all remember we're called if you will as christians to live holy and Y'all, some of y'all might think, man, this is just, this is old time religion stuff. This, this is not modern day understanding of what it means to have Jesus in our heart. I, I, I would, I would say that that's the farthest thing from the truth that I can, that I can imagine. Let's just read what Paul says here. Second Thessalonians chapter one. And I'm going to read two verses, verse four and five. Four says this, 
um, I'll start in three so you can understand what four is saying. We are bound to thank God always for you. This is Paul and his preaching brothers. We are bound to thank God always for you, the church, brethren, sister and brethren, you guys, as it is meet, merited, because that your faith groweth exceedingly and charity of every one of you all towards each other aboundeth, right? We already talked about that a little bit yesterday. Part of our responsibilities as members of the kingdom is to not push each other out, it, but is to embrace one another, practice our faith with one another, practice peace, joy, righteousness, all of that stuff in the Holy Ghost within our own kingdom. Because why? Because we're different. We're separate. We are not of this world anymore. Listen. So he goes on to say, number four, verse four is where I want to start. So that we ourselves, this is Paul and his guys again, glory in you in the churches of God. In other words, he's telling him and his, his preaching brothers are telling everybody about how awesome these folks are. Now listen to the description of what makes them awesome. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Whoa. We tell other people, other churches about you for your patience and faith, right? That seems like, oh yeah, okay, but watch. Patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure. So we endure, what? Okay, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is the, what is the kingdom of God, right? Listen. So these folks are getting talking well of because they have, patience and faith while they are in persecution or and or tribulations so struggling right struggling how many of you struggle raise your hand if you struggle raise your hand if you struggle raise your hand if you struggle with your faith raise your hand if you struggle with your weight loss journey raise your hand if you struggle with your with persecution when the when the kids come over and you fix taters when, when, all of that, right? You know, that, that that's part of it, y'all. That's part of it. D don't think it's strange when you fall into diverse temptations as if you are, are listen, that's what the Bible says. This is this is not bad. This is good. This is the way it's supposed to be. Now let me let me let me keep going a little, just a little bit. Right? Glory in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations. That ye endure, number five, verse five, listen, which is the manifest token of the righteous judgment of God. There's that righteousness. In other words, when that stuff happens, when, when we are convinced, convicted in our hearts that what we're going through is tough, that what we're going through is a trial, is a tribulation, is hard. That's part of God's righteousness towards us because we ain't part of the world no more. Now look, and he says that, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, you ready, for which ye also suffer. It's part of it. It's part of it, y'all. It's part of it. So this is kind of hard to say, but get used to it. Get used to it. Embrace it. Embrace it. The tribulation, right? The persecution. All of that, the suffering. That's part of the good stuff. Okay, now. That was just, that's just, I want you to, I want you to hear me. Listen, y'all hearing me? I got a boo-boo on my hand. That's part of it. 
But listen to what Jesus says. I want, I want to leave you with this today. I love when Jesus makes sure to give us a little bit of hope. Jesus gives us not a little bit of hope, but a lot of hope. He gives me a lot of hope. All right? Because thank God for, for his disciples to write these things for us so that we can hear these old sermons that he did, okay? But in Mark chapter 4, everybody write that down, Mark chapter 4. I'm going to go on down here. Jesus talking in parables about the kingdom of God, okay? And you know when Jesus talked in parables, it was because there were some people there with ears to hear and some people there that didn't have ears to hear. Have you got your ears on to hear? Have y'all got your ears on to hear? Listen to what Jesus said, right? Because I'm telling you, it, this, ought, this ought to get you fired up this morning. <laughs> it got me fired up. That's why I came in saying what I said. Go to verse, verse 30. and thir I'm going to read it, okay? Jesus has been spreading these parables about the kingdom of God. We know what the kingdom of God is, right? Paula's already got her hand up. I'm going to tell you right now, if you've been in Roundup the last two mornings, you should be able to raise your hand and say, I know what the kingdom of God is, right? Now, listen to what Jesus says here. Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God, right? Jesus is sitting here saying, just telling these, these folks, you know, if he's talking in parables, he's talking to people that, that have ears to hear and ears that don't have ears to hear. But listen to what he says. He's giving us a word of comfort right here. Why? Because the struggling's part of being uh, uh, a part of being in the kingdom of God. Jesus says this right here. Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or what? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? How can how can I tell you about the kingdom of God without? telling you without without everybody being up let me let me tell you this is what jesus says it is like a grain of mustard seed which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the other seeds that be in the earth okay when we first get kingdom of god it's a tiny itty the smallest of seeds possible Maybe you didn't hear a mighty rushing wind and you didn't have cloven tongues of fire that sat down on top of your head. Maybe you didn't go to preaching the word right off the, the, the bat in a foreign tongue of yours so people near and wide could hear the gospel. Maybe it wasn't like those people back on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost finally came. Those people were in of one mind and one accord gathered together waiting on the thing. But you and I, more than likely, when we fell into grace, and were saved, we weren't in a place gathered together like that. How, but that seed was planted. Carol, that seed was planted, Amy. Listen, it's the tiniest of seeds. This is Jesus telling us. This gives me hope today. Listen. It's like a grain of mustard seeds, which when it's sown the earth is less than all the other seeds that be in the earth. There's a, there's a whole sermon right there. The, it's the smallest, it's the lesser of all of the, there's so many, there's so much stuff going around right now, y'all. There's a thousand different ways to preach the gospel. There's a thousand different ways. To, there, there's, a, there's other faiths. All this, listen, this is Jesus talking about. The, the kingdom of, of God is the smallest of seeds out there, but when it gets planted, y'all, listen. When it's sown, it groweth up and become the greatest that, than all the herbs, shooting out great branches so that the fowls there may lodge under the shadow of it. That's how God plans to work in you and me. He plans on you, you taking, you being one of the few that are broken enough to not be so self-reliant to realize that we need something to save us. And that tiny seed gets planted. And when that seed takes root, what happens? Here it comes, right? I love it. It says, it says that it groweth, and you know, it shoots up great branches. 
earlier in there, <laughs> when he's talking parables, he's talking about seeds being planted of how first the seed has to die. And, but, but once the seed germinates and it grows, first comes a little sprig and then comes, and then comes a, 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 a leaf. And eventually it becomes, it becomes able to bear fruit. And that fruit, what does the fruit have? More seed. What happens with those seeds? They get spread abroad. And here comes more fruit. I hope you guys will find some kind of uh, blessing, hope, peace, joy, <laughs> righteousness, and the Holy Ghost somewhere in this message. I hope that, uh, that, that, that the kingdom of God is alive inside of you. And if it's not, I aim to stir it up. I aim to stir it up. I love you guys. Let's have our prayer today.